look at the website, so I don't know. Hey, I got a question. It's for Daz and Nori, because I know y'all didn't hear this last night, but style-wise, yeah. we know culturally it's it's bad for the culture, but just style-wise, what would y'all think of that type of battle? The mother style? Yeah, style. It's like it's like tap dance and shit. Would you be interested in hearing Snoop versus like what Snoop would say versus them? Hell no. <laughs> Me, Nori, no. Hell no, their history is too thick, man. That's the motherfuckers is grown men, man. We don't need no rap battle at this point. Hell no, man. Get in the fucking room and talk about it, man. And <laughs> come on, man. The fuck? Yeah, they they should, man. We way too old for that. Talk about That's we way too old for that, man. Whoa. Come I'm on, just the talking, I'm just talking, not not culturally. Just you made the war report. Shut up. Yeah, yeah, exactly, bro. And, when, and you think I want to be at the war report at this point in my life? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, my brother. I know a nigga thirty years ago riding the train. I spoke to him the other day. Guess where he was at? Riding the train. Mm -hmm. I ain't trying to be that nigga. God bless him and his family, but hell no. We ain't supposed to be where we, po where we, we was 22 years ago. Hell no. All right, so what's the age limit on, on rap, rap diss tracks? Then? What's the age limit? Yo, yo listen, man. If, listen, I, I don't even know, man. I don't know. What's, what you said? Say, say, say the question again, Joe. What is the, what's the age limit on when you can make a, a diss track as a rapper then? I'm not sure because LL look like he's really gonna go at Freddie Gibbs, right? <laughs> like, I'm not sure. That's what I'm saying, like that, because like I'm looking at L. I'm like, don't do it, L. Like, don't do it. And Freddie Gibbs look like he want to do it. Like, this is crazy. So in that situation, that's 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 a little different. But I don't know. I just don't want to see Eminem and fucking Snoop Dogg on L. battle. I don't want to see that, bro, because because of their relationship, and they they both from that's like stepchildren fighting and shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Like they both from the they both from the same lineage. You know what I mean? They come from the same fucking person that made Eminem great as the same person that made Snoop great. Yeah, from the NWA family. Freddie Freddie yeah. went patiently too for LL too. I, yo, I swear to God, I, this is the funniest shit. Fun. This is the funniest shit because LL kind of won it too. This is what's funny about LL the Freddie. Hey, Nori, why, what the fuck? Are you skydiving? Oh, no, I, I live on the beach, my brother. I'm sorry, man. If you That's that's, <laughs> that's waves and shit you hearing in the background. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I can't even make that. that uh, when I, As I'm talking, uh, but when I'm not talking, I'm going to mute me. I'm sorry, bro. But, you know, that's what y'all hearing, man. You know, when Snap, when Clubhouse go video, you can see I'm on the beach, man. This is where I think at, you know, that's by so myself. Good. I'm sorry, my toes is out. My toes is out. Like Joe. <laughs> uh -huh. You can't know him, man. Yo, hip hop is beautiful, man. Nigga <laughs> <laughs> like said my toes is out. <laughs> it's a fact. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's definitely that's definitely styles make fights. That ain't that ain't the one, bro. No, no upside, no upside to that. Just the kind of contributors that they both are. I don't think that's a that's a good idea on no level. I mean, it's two different styles. Da, why you done talking out of it, bro? I mean, you know, he's his own man. You know what I'm saying? How do how do Dre feel about that kind of shit? You know what I mean? Like, now, how Dre you don't think? like. He probably in there in the middle of it. You know, like da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? They probably shit. What you probably even realize? They probably already probably didn't talk. How do we know? I tell you this. I tell you this. Um, I was listening to Doggy Diamonds the other day, and Doggy Diamonds was describing something that 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 uh that Joe they said Joe had an opinion on something, and Jay Prince um younger um son just got mad at him, and he said, "Yo, are we really not allowed to have opinions in hip hop?" And I feel like that's where we leaning towards right now. Like if I, like if Royce or is my man or Joe is my man, and I don't like uh uh or uh, uh, or Daz drop something that I don't like and I say yeah I, I I don't like that that's not my that's not my favorite dad's thing then dad's gonna have beef with me because of that like this is crazy like it's like we like just because we're famous we can't have an opinion I can't say I don't like and and that's what that um this whole little Eminem uh Snoop shit derived from is just um Snoop saying nah you know um I, 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 uh 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 M is a dope lyricist he's just not in my top 10 
You know what I'm saying? And then M responded and he did an interview with Shade 45, I believe, um, and said that it was Snoop's energy. Like, it wasn't that what Snoop said. It was Snoop's energy. It's like how he how he delivered it. And it's like, yo, my dudes, like, we, we can't even have opinions no more. That shit leads to World War One. Just having an opinion. What y'all think? But no, you know what, though? He but added, though, and I could probably live without any Eminem album. Even that. even that, that I mean I, I know I know what that means I know what that means to, to an actual person but it's really not that harsh if that's not your cup of tea listen man like you know what I'm saying listen I, there's people who drink coffee every fucking day right there's people who wake up and drink coffee I never really drank coffee so if I say I I can live without coffee now uh, the coffee people gonna hate me that for that shall I continue I, I mean you know Rock you know I, okay yeah, yeah. shall I continue. It's, it's, it's still it still didn't warrant M to do a diss track. M should have responded in the interview. You know what I'm saying? Because when you, I think he should have responded in the interview. Like in the said. interview, in the interview. Because once you go to the diss track, it's almost like a that's diss track. Is that's, like that's permanent. permanent? Exactly, and and it's like it's like this it, shit ain't going nowhere. That's it. It's in the history. Yeah, I, I feel like he, went, niggas should have went to the phones. That's what and, yeah, I, I feel that too. I feel that too. But if you was going to respond, I feel like it should have been. That's like me smacking you and you stabbing me. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what I mean? Damn, or me me stepping on your 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 your, your toe and then you punching me in my stomach. You know what I'm saying? It's like whoa, my dude. You know what I mean? So I, I feel yeah, like. So, it, hey, Royce, how is Snoop in Eminem relationship? Hold on, one more, one more time, OG. Mute, mute your mic, North. Yep. I said, how is Snoop and Eminem's relationship? Have you, you know, you seen them quarantine together? I mean, you know, like hang out, the, you know, what's the vibe you see when they hang out together? Anytime I ever seen them together, they look like they was the best, cool as fuck, cracking jokes, you know what I'm saying? So um, I think that's, that's what Marshall's thing was. It was just like, damn, what he thought their relationship was and the energy that was coming off of Snoop. In that interview, rather rather he meant no harm or not, I think he just looked at it like it's a it's a it's a more respectful brotherly way to to say what you what you said. But I agree though, it ain't had to be a di a, a diss and a song behind that. But I do understand uh, it though. I'm gonna let you know some history that I know about situations. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit. Back in the days, you know they did that hey oh hey oh song, right? Mm -hmm. On Snoop's first album, what was that with Nate Dogg? You don't want to fuck with me. That song, mm -hmm. and then Eminem did it on his album, right? Yeah, he redid Bitch, the please. Beat. Yeah, so when I was talking to Snoop one time, he said that he asked Eminem and them to get on his song, um, you know, like to get on his album, and they told him no. Mm. And Snoop felt some type of way, like. I did all this and all that, and they tell me no. And you know, Snoop like, no, nobody tell me no. Yeah, and it was a, it was an interview that surfaced recently from back then, where somebody was asking him. The interviewer was asking him about his contribution to that song, and he was just like, "Well, I was coming from more of a of a of a, of a street of a team uh, level." Team yeah, because he was like, "Cause I'm a gangster. I'm a gangster. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't I wasn't on all that shit. Eminem was on all that." <laughs> But then I was talking, I was talking to Salam, right? And then Salam say, sometime when you asked, like you, like he asked Eminem to do a song, but Eminem probably didn't even know that Snoop asked to do a song. That probably was Peter Rosenberg or somebody just saying no. I mean, you know, Paul Rosenberg was saying no, and then he, and that's what Salam said. He said he probably didn't even get the Eminem that Snoop wanted him to do a song with him. So he took it personal. They took it personal. And then from then on, that's why you never heard a song from Snoop and M since then. I wonder how 50 feels about this. Hey. 50, 50 could probably 50 could probably squash it. 50 or Dre. You know what I'm saying? Like they they, they too equal. Dre definitely. Dr. Dre, Dre definitely. squash that shit because you know they, they everybody still be in the same studio at Brick and One. And then you Drake know, I just seen I, I just seen Fred Wreck on TV with Snoop the other day, and that's Eminem good friend Fred Wreck. So it must not be nothing. Right. Because Fred Wreck over there, he cool with Eminem, and you know what I mean? Dr. Dre, you know, all that type of shit. So 
it, it, it probably ain't really nothing, you know what I'm saying? Just, hey, they probably already didn't talk. I heard that same story you heard, Daz. I just wasn't going to say it. <laughs> but I definitely heard that, though. Yeah, so, you know, people get in their feelings. Man, feelings for sure. And that's what fucked up the whole rap game, feelings. Hey, matter of fact, hey, DA, I, I got to call you tomorrow. <laughs> Hey, if, if it was any one of y'all and you guys were in the Snoop position and you guys asked somebody that was coming kind of up under y'all that used y'all song, you was like, yo, I need a verse, and they denied y'all. Would y'all have a problem with them? Say that, you think, you know? If, if any one of y'all was Snoop, the way that, based on that story, the way y'all say it, it went down, would y'all have a problem with somebody in the middle. Of course. I still got beef to, with Maya to this day. Oh, shit. you say with Maya? The same? Yep. <laughs> yep. Bro, Nori, Nori, you can't say you got beef with an R&B singer with your toes. Huh? Yes, I can. <laughs> I, 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 I also had a fight with, 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 with 112, but that's a whole nother story. <laughs> Man, if I, if I had been famous since I was a teenager, yeah, I probably would, bro. Hell yeah. Us, Hell artists, yeah. us artists, we take we take we we take shit like that really, really we take it personal. Hell yeah, we humans. When somebody tell you you can't have a feature <coughs> hey, or, a nigga, or a nigga get spun or anything like that. Yeah, that's that's like, you know, that's personal. Hell after, yeah. Especially after, especially after if you I feel like some shit. Exactly. That's what you, you just you said. If I clear some pub shit for you and then I can't get a verse, yeah, yeah, I feel away. You know what? Nori, why do you have beef with Maya? I was playing, but I did. Um, like um, when Maya was coming up, I don't know if y'all remember. It was the belly oh, sound, shit. the belly soundtrack. Um, right? Boom! Ray, me and Raekwon was on, on the same joint. What I didn't know is that we got paid for the actual record, but Raekwon was getting paid for the actual video too. I showed up early like a bozo. I did everything. I put on the suit. I did everything like, 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 and Raekwon did the exact opposite. He did not go on the set. <laughs> and I, I felt like, you know what? When it come back around, you know what I'm saying? I got a budget. I'm a, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pay her. And I came back around. I remember it was Hawk Islam was her manager or something like that. It was something with an Islam. And he looked at me and said, Nori, we, we, we're not going in that direction. And I said, "Holy moly, that's what you get for doing a favor for people when they when they coming up." And then when she blew, they didn't even they act like they didn't even know me, bro. They told me they going they're not going in that direction before they even heard the record. Jesus. So I I always remember that. You were super thug. Yeah, I did, that, that, that I was yeah. super thug when I did the feature. I was already <laughs> super thug. Word, don't don't, yeah, don't, but don't that was to give her more urban and once she got it, she ain't need me. You hear me? <laughs> word, word. I ain't never forgot that. Yeah, I've, I've gotten a few of those where we're we're going in a different direction. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a that's a that's a respectful respectfully saying we're not fucking with you. Damn. Mm, that's hip hop. I honestly don't. I see learned that lesson it. early. I don't see how any up and coming act could listen to this conversation we've been having for the last however many hours and want to insert themselves in this mess. I don't. Yeah, you can't do it. You can't do it without without a certain amount of information and, and really thrive. It's impossible. It's set up for you to fail. I agree with Los in that regard. I just disagree with not telling t encouraging everybody to not do deals with majors at all like that's nah we never going to see a day where everybody going to agree on that some some people are going to want to do deals so those those people got to be armed with the information you know what i'm saying well, yeah. like, it's, 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 just well, like 21 savage he said he got to deal with a distributor where it's 80 20 that's a great deal you know what i mean like it could be like that across the board most definitely you know, I got a deal that's 95 five. <laughs> and that's with guys. You said what? That's what Empire. Gazi got. You know, I started Empire off. Gazi was a uh, intern over there in group. I started hooking up with Gazi because I got hooked up with Gazi through Nessa. So Nessa hooked me up with uh, Gazi and he was going through in groups and he said, 
I'm finna start my own thing. Can I use your catalog to boost my thing? And I say, cool. Then I start wow. taking him to all these rappers like Snoop sign over there. I took him down to Atlanta with DJ Funky and the Coalition DJs. And then from then on, DJ Funky took him everywhere. You know what I'm saying? And then he just, they just blew up, blew up. Yeah, Gazi, my up. man, too. I've been getting money with Gazi for 10 years, too. That's my yeah. man. He's so, straight up. So, you know, shit. Salute to Gazi, but that's the only way when you own your masters at Gazi, he going to pay you on time. And you can leave whenever yep. you want to leave. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I know. So good, you ain't going nowhere. Yeah, why would you? you know, nah, and, and, and I told God, he said, you know, shit, he the number one label in hip hop right now. Empire is probably my best deal I ever had. Most definitely. I was mad. I bumped into them when I was toward retirement. <laughs> oh, it was it was those last two albums. Nah, my last one album, Rage album. I did a two album joint with Gazi and did the Rage shit, but then I just said, fuck it. Bad music one, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like I made a lot of money off that fucking project. And after it hearing- Still is. After hearing that, yeah, still is, still is. And after hearing Daz, I'm going back to fix them splits. And that was with me. I didn't have no money. <laughs> I didn't have money when I put that out. So I had to spend money to do it. Like if I could have earned from day one, oh yeah. my God. And see, like me and Gazi deal is verbal. Damn. I ain't got, I ain't got no paperwork with Gazi. Hey, ping Gazi in here right now. Enough of this. <laughs> <laughs> and then when Gazi go public, he gonna give me some shares. Ping that man. <laughs> I love Gazi. I love Gazi. You know how, you, how you spell that shit? G-H-A-Z-Y. Yeah. yeah, I love Gazi too. I had to you unmute Royce. myself. You know Gazi Royce. You know Gazi and Neymar. Bruce yeah, I know Gazi. I know Gazi. I just don't know what is what is what he is on Clubhouse. He gonna be Gazi when he get on Clubhouse. Yeah, he probably ain't on Clubhouse. I'm fucking around, but yeah, I'm going to speak to him again. <laughs> so you saying that you you gonna rap? Uh, yeah, but the simple fact is like Gazi, <laughs> I make up a label every month. This nigga DA is crazy, bro. I, I make a label with I got like 47 weird. labels on Empire. Hey, Daz be on the internet like. I, I ain't gonna lie. I got, I got about four. I got about four. my dick. I, I, <laughs> hey, long as you pay him, you can talk shit to him. Oh, shit, bro. Daz is the fucking legend, bro. <laughs> it's crazy. Hey, hey Joe. I got three other deals. I got a deal with Gazi. I got a deal with these people out there in Nashville called CMD, Command Shift. They up and rising too. The rich ass motherfucking country boys out there. I know them too. <laughs> and then I, I just got another deal when I'm doing with the dog pound on rival distribution. It's like me, I signed up to every digital distribution there is. Fuck it. I'm gonna put a record out through every distribution on a different type of label and collect. You know what I mean? Like gambling. If something's gonna hit. Yeah, hey, yeah. But so, Joe, you said you said when you going to talk to guys, are you going you finna rap? If I never rapped again, I would want to talk to Gazi about a ninety-five five. Nigga try to break. Nigga try to break. Break your news. Break your news. Joe Biden says he's coming back rapping. Nah. That's what yeah. somebody yeah. looking for. I'm I'm tempted. I'm always tempted to rap again because I've never rapped from this position. Like I've always I I was always fucking struggling. I've never rapped from the position of just I'm okay. I'm doing it because I want to do it. Type yeah. Shit. So that's that part is tempting to me. Don't that feel good though, Joe? I do it if I want to. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's a good it's, ass feeling, bro. It's a different <laughs> position, and that's tempting. Man, I, I, I Def Jam. Def Jam was behind you for at one point, right? Though. Oh yeah, no, they was super behind me, but I but I didn't have my own. So yeah, they was behind me, but I didn't have. So the decisions that were made were just very different. It's different when you when you got your own, when you got capital and when you got leverage, it's just different. And I've never had capital and leverage making an album. You was there when Hove took over? Mm-hmm. 
Yep, yeah, me yeah. too. Yes, I was. Me too. How was that? Yeah, how the fuck was that? How, how, how'd that go? It was bad. good and terrible. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was bad. I'll I, I tell you that my first meeting, right? Because, um, you know, I was managed by Chris Lighty. So Chris Lighty, you know, pretty much was like, you know, he didn't have to tell me everything he did in my career for me. You know what I'm saying? So there was a board at the time where it was artists saying they're going from either Jay or Dame Dash, right? Y'all there? So, yeah. so, um, so obviously they, they they put my name on a Dame Dash board. Yeah, I was and, on the Dame side too, Nori. And Chris Lighty came and erased my name and put me on the, on the Jay Z board. Boom, right? So I, I this this is I I don't know what's going on. So. So uh, basically, Chris has this secret meeting with Jay, and then Jay has this meeting with me. And he says to me, he pulls out this contract, and he says, you know, technically, you're not on Rockefeller at all, because I never was on Rockefeller. So when Rockefeller broke up, they had to split up these artists. And remember, Joe Button's using the, the Rockefeller photo shoots, too. So they yeah. had you in the, going through the same shit. Mm -hmm. So he technically says, so this is the, Jay's first meeting. He goes, so technically, you, you didn't sign to Rockefeller. You never signed the contract. And I'm like, no. So he shows me my Def Jam contract. I wish I could see me, because he spent the actual Def Jam contract, and he, he spent it, and then he, like, slightly, like, just pushed it towards me and he was like well i'm gonna need you to honor this contract and it was hilarious because he was the president of def jam so no matter what i couldn't leave i don't know if y'all get what i just said but uh, I, I get it. I get yeah it. <laughs> it, this was some nice nice cool you ain't going nowhere you with me shit you know what i mean like, Nori, i think hove at the time right and i don't know this to be factual but yeah. hey mute your phone man i don't want to hear that beach. oh shit yeah. oh shit Fuck it. I think I think Hove at the time was able to pick um was able to pick the artists that he did and didn't want to fuck with on Def Jam because at the time we had a lot Absolutely. of like, old, older acts. So like you knew about that board. I didn't know about the board, but I was on the Dame side of the board, but I wasn't a Rockefeller act. So I didn't find out till later that uh, it was Skane that told me, yo. You're not gonna ever get no traction because you on the Dame side of the Rockefeller shit. So then I had to kind of get untangled from that because I couldn't leave Def Jam. Same shit as you. So I had to get untangled from that to get any type of support in the building, and it still wasn't much support. So that was just a real bad time when he came in there. For what me, what year was that? What year was that, man? Was this oh five? No, it had to be before that. Oh four? No, was that oh four? Shit, I, I think that was oh five. I can't recall. Oh no, it was definitely before that. I'm bugging. Yeah, you bugging, dog. I'm bugging. Uh, it's L.A. Reed was there. No, come came out of no six. No, because I remember playing fucking Def Jam Vendetta, and you niggas was on that motherfucker. And that was right around the time when I remember that it was like Def Jam was like the gold, like that that shit was like the the mecca of everything that was going on at that time. Were they able to use y'all likeness on that game without without consulting y'all? Nah, nigga, I went in. I went in. I, they did the the, the shit. I, that was really me. That was, you, you know, we knock niggas out. That's really my punch in real life. <laughs> <laughs> did you get Did you get paid? Yeah, I got paid. I got paid. I just don't. Get, I ain't get residuals. I, I was too stupid to 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 to, 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 to ask for residuals, but I did get an upfront check. I definitely did on both because I was in two games. I'm in fight for New York and Def Jam Vendetta. I liked it. That you signed a whole a whole another deal for it for that shit. Yeah, there was two separate deals. That's a fact. Yeah, totally different deal. Yeah, yeah totally. Joe, different Joe, deal. you did you didn't? Nigga, I might have got like five grand or some chump change. Oh, that's crazy. I definitely got fifty thousand. Both oh, yo, hey, yeah, I, got, I got 50 the first time, I think 80 the second time, 85 the second time. Again, I was a new artist, bitch. Stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm saying, my bad. <laughs> my bad. I had Chris Lady, bro. I had Chris Lady. He was and you beast. had Chris Lady. I had Chris Lady, man. I can't leave a lot of you. But that's the other thing, man, that I wish I could. I wish 21 was still in here. Like, if you didn't have a co sign back then, like somebody like a Chris Lighty or a nigga that just knew a stout, a stout, a Mark Pitts. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 
You was getting fucked. It was no you, way yep. around it. You needed that. You needed that. And like even Skane, I heard you say Skane earlier. Skane was good, but he was just like small compared to them. No disrespect to Skane. That's the homie. But he was just like, you know what I mean? He was like, he was modeling his shit after them. Yeah, but you saying you you were getting fucked it, it, either way, no way around it. Couldn't you, couldn't you have just opted out and not been a part of that type of shit? What, the video game? I wanted to be no, a no, part I'm of the video game. You, you was, oh, oh. You was oh my bad, right. my bad, my bad. Let me be quiet. Head. Of course I could have opted out of it. Why on earth would I opt out of it? Yeah, dog. I can't I can't talk. I was on the first Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> they gave me five grand and that's it. That shit blew up and took over the world. Hell yeah. And if I wanted to say no at the time, my production company would have talked me into it. And if I told them no, my AR would have talked me into it. Shit, actually, I think I said no. And Kevin Lyles had to bring me in his fucking office like he always did to talk me into some shit. Though knowing you, you definitely said no. I said <laughs> no. But, you know, when I was 21, 22, 23, 24 saying no to these things, first of all, I was real emotional. So the no came out wrong, one. And, and two, I could very easily be talked into something because I was open-minded. It take like getting fucked a few times in a few different arenas to learn how to stand firm in a no. That's life though, right? This nigga, this nigga Joe said no to everything. Hey, Royce, let's smoke this up here. He said, he said, I believe. Hey, it. hey, Royce, I was so mad. Royce and Kino, I was so mad when uh, Slaughterhouse came up with that little fucking voting system shit that I still hate to this day because because it was a system to oppose a no. <laughs> Your ass said no to everything, bro. Joe first word. Wait, wait, is wait, no. wait, 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 hold up. What's the system? Votes. We had to, we had to, we had to, we had to create a separate, a separate code, like a code of conduct as far as how we were going to like deal as a group. And we had to just come up with a voting system because it was too many different times where we disagreed on things. So one person couldn't just be like, yo, yeah, we doing that. The whole the whole group started to not agree on things, all four of us. So we had to have it to where where somebody could be outvoted. Otherwise, you know, like if one so person somebody saying no, being Joe. Okay, got you. Joe was saying no to everything. We want to do something and Joe would be like, no, fuck that. I'm not doing that. They came up with a, a system that was Joe proof. <laughs> this nigga was acting like a damn orphan, bro. I was crazy for a lot of months. Well, not crazy. I was erratic. Yeah. Always go with your first mind, Joe. He ended up being right on a lot of shit, though. I give you that, bro. Thank you. But he, and, and he had the most label, like major label experience at that time on that level, at least. Like nobody had had in the slaughterhouse had the, the the major label success that Joe had. Royce, me and you, we was in and out. We was in majors and then we was independent. Shit, I was in and out too, god damn it. <laughs> At least you got a record to go before you left, before you went independent. And I thank God for it. You're right. Man, we, we have this debate on Drink Champs all the time. They, they say, independent or major? I am always voting for the major, man. I don't know. I don't give a fuck about this new shit. When the majors was good, boy, them big checks was awesome, bro. I cannot front on that shit. You know what I mean? We was in the highlight of that shit. I love the majors. You when the majors was the major. was in the, the highlight of it. Hey, I love I love the, the duality of this right here, right? You got, you got Nori, <laughs> Joe. And Nori's like, man, this shit is amazing. I'm fucking with this shit. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you, listen, Joe's man. Like, Fuck everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you but know, hey, that always comes from like people's own individual story. Like I bought, I bought you're absolutely all, right. I bought all Nori shit when I when I was fucking at a teenager bugging out. Like I bought all of that. He had success when I was trying to get there. That was the heyday in that shit. So. Yeah, his position going to be different from mine. Like, I came in, when I came in, that's when all the niggas from Nori era was talking about, all oh, the in industry shut down, it's over, it's dead, it's dead. I'm like, what the fuck <laughs> you mean it's dead? I just got here. <laughs> hey, but it's not even an era thing, though, because even when we was just talking about the Def Jam, the, the video game shit, that was 
that was that that had overlap, but his experience was different than yours. Nigga, I got here when the industry thought that Napster would end this. <laughs> Fact, facts. The the entire industry thought Napster was ending this shortly. They were saying pack it up. And, and then Def what was Jam, it? Lime wire after that? It was Lime wire yeah, after that. And Def Jam, I, the executives was asking each other, hey, so what Orange. you about to do? <laughs> And yeah, Bear Nori, Share, and Nori, all that shit. Yep. Nori had Nori had a Pharrell, a Pharrell that was gonna stop at nothing. Yeah. Gave, I, fucking, I hate niggas like that. So he gave that nigga a fucking world smasher. A bunch Whoa. of them. Whoa. So you Whoa. saying Nori's coming from a place of privilege? No, nah, listen, yeah, let's no. be clear. Let's be clear. The war report was <laughs> I, independent. I, I let's be clear. The war report, the war report was independent. The war report was independent. Nothing had. I couldn't nope. sniff a super thug. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't sniff. Hey, when them producers would show up, if they did, they wouldn't even play that folder, nigga. Yes, Nori's speaking from a privileged position. I'm not. I'm that not That is buying. not fair. Yes, that, thank you, thank it. you, Head. Hold me down, Head. I'm not gonna buy that shit that the producers wasn't showing up to the session. It's still, it's still a a, a session at the at the end of the day. Like it ain't like you. It ain't like you in Jersey, like bumming studio time and engineering sessions to pay for it. And you at begging producers to pull up. Head, I tried to get a, I tried to get a Pharrell beat like everyone did in 2001, two and three. And I really tried hard to get one when he came and gave fab like eight of them in front of my face. <laughs> but I was, I was working with Pharrell since 97 though, when he had a choker as a chain. That's why he, I'm, you saying, know what I'm he, saying. That's your friend. I yes, bought, he I is. Bought, yes, I bought he five is. for I bought five for LB. God hey, damn it. Hey, no, hey, tell him how rich you are, Royce. Tell him how rich you are, Royce. Hey, Nori. Did you ask no, Royce, no, no, no. I bought five for LB, but hey. It was they was five dollars a They wasn't um, what, Royce? They wasn't super thug. Nah, Royce, he gave you some bangers. Come on, man. Hey, they hey, wasn't, how about they wasn't no, I'm not saying he ain't give me no. I I I, I didn't mean to say it like that, but I'm just saying, like, it's something to be it's something to be said about. When an artist has like a connect, when the, when the producer has like a connection with the artist, it's the same thing with me and Preem. Like a yep. lot of people, I was just about to say that. I was just about to say that. A lot you of people the be words like, Man, "Why you don't give me that shit you gave Royce?" It's like we just got a different relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like Preem is emotionally. Man, Michael Jackson me. told Pharrell, "Why you didn't give me the shit you give Nori?" Come on, man. Come on, man. We got to give Nori the bag. You gave you the bag. Exactly. <laughs> hey, hey, Nori. Hey, hey peep this out. Hey, uh -huh. Roy Pharrell did five records for Royce. One of them was Royce, the clips, Pharrell on the hook. The other one was Pharrell, Royce rapping with Pharrell and Cleese on the hook. The other one was Royce and Eminem over Neptune's beat. I can't remember the other one, too. Oh, Pharrell, I don't want to hear shit Pharrell from Royce. Rap, Pharrell Royce rapping, got the like, package. Four records. Yeah. We yeah, so so more. so now get back to what Joe Button say. Royce is speaking from a place of privilege. Yes, let's go. <laughs> you turned the album into Tommy Boy, and Tommy Boy was like, why y'all got him singing on so many records? Nobody wants to hear him. Wow. <laughs> right. Yeah, they came down on me for having too many records. <laughs> wow. But see, the thing, but that, that's fucking crazy. Okay, that. Tommy that's ain't your crazy. motherfucking boy. Oh. Look, DA, look, let me ask you this, right? What's As a up? producer, when you producing records, right? Yeah. Obviously, you might have a song that you know, like, oh, I'm going to give this shit to Pac. Or, oh, I'm going to give this shit to Snoop. Yeah. But when you don't have that in mind, do you still hold it away from an artist because you feel like that artist can't deliver the full potential of a record? Uh, it, you know, it all depends. Like, back in the days, I was working with Drew down, and they didn't have the money for Ain't Nothing But A Gangsta Party beat. And then Tupac came in the night before, I mean, the night after, and I gave him the beat, and that was it. You know what I'm saying? You just... Wait wait, 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 wait. You talking about you talking about two of America's most wanted? Yeah, two of America's most wanted. So, and you said Drew Down from Buck from Buckshot Shorty and them? Drew Down? No, nah, Drew Down. A pimp of the year. <laughs> no, I know, I know Drew He's Down. from the Bay, right? The Bay, yeah, the yeah. Bay area, Drew Down. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that they they would have had that beat if they would have had just the bread. It was just about they the would have had the, if they would have had the ten thousand, they was having that with the hook and everything on it. Oh shit. But they didn't have the money. So I went back to the studio. That's God works right there. That's God work. That's God work. 
So then what you're saying is, so what you're saying is, DA, is that Joe didn't have the, the budget to compete with Nori for the Neptunes shit. <laughs> no, because I guarantee you Nori was probably playing five thousand dollars a beat for, for Pharrell. If he's been with him since ninety seven, he, he was, was popping Ace of Spade all the time. <laughs> I, I couldn't get a, a Pharrell meeting. Hey, uh, but probably get a yellow trucker hat though. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people don't know. I did the same thing with Swiss. When Swiss came to the studio, he didn't even have a name. They called him D's nephew. It, I was like, yo, who's that? They said D's nephew. That's and that's he played the beats. Uh, I swear <laughs> to God, he, Swiss didn't even have a name. <laughs> he, hey, hey, no, he was D's nephew when I met him too. Hey, I don't, D's I, nephew. I don't think he remember though. Like I met Swiss when they was filming Belly. They filmed Belly on my mom's block in Jersey City, and I was rapping out there, and I got Swiss number, and Swiss was trying to put. He was trying to make a group. And the group was me, Cassidy, and Drag On. And I kept talking to D about it. This was like my first, this was like probably. That was your first slaughterhouse? The first slaughterhouse was you? Who? Don't Drag do that. On? Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> this is amazing. Relax. I'm taking this story. I'm taking this story. <laughs> <laughs> it never panned out, though, thank God. <laughs> this, that's a lot of made some noise, nigga. Nah, I I love drag on back in the day. You kidding me? Yeah, I fuck with both of them. Me too. Hey Nori, hey Nori, what's that? What's the name of that CNN print?